Do you know what Claim Connect is? What about APO service? Well, if you may have been subscribed to my channel in April, there was actually a filing that came out, DTC-007, implemented and approved, of course, April 21st. However, in the filing itself, if we go and take a look at what Claim Connect is, if you're not sure, in the APO service, let's go ahead and take a look. So basically, to refresh your memory, Claim Connect is the new service that's going to be offered for the DTC that will be a automated process rather than manual when it comes to adjustments. So it says right here, the proposed rule change would update the DTC Corporate Actions Distribution Service Guide to direct participants to use DTC's Claim Connect service instead of DTC's Adjustment Payment Order service to make manual participant to participant cast adjustment claims. Now, the key word in that first group of sentences there is direct. They are going to direct participants to use the Claim Connect, not that they have to use the Claim Connect. So, that point being made, regardless of the fact that DTC 007 was approved and implemented on April 30th, because again, we see the federal release here, it still wasn't in full force because the APO was still optional. That's where this video comes into play because if you would have you know, known what Claim Connect was or APO is, as soon as you would have seen this, APO functionality retirement, you would have started jacking your titties a little bit because we see right here, we have a confirmed date, effective July 9th, that the APO functionality will no longer be, uh, be an option for these people. And, and why is that good for us, you, you ask? Let's go ahead and take a look here. So basically, in the filing itself, if we go take a look here, Oh, that's 006. Whoopsies. Shortcomings. So it says right here. Unfortunately, manual processing of adjustments via the APO service is subject to a number of shortcomings. Now listen to this. For example, the adjustments are not subject to DTC's risk controls. Uh-oh. Which can unexpectedly subject the receiving party to the value of the adjustment. Hmm. They lack a unique identifier, which can make reconciling claims difficult. I wonder why. There is no automated notification process. So if you want to see a manual adjustment, you're going to need to actively monitor, which I doubt many people would do that. There is no dashboard where participants can see all of their adjustments, nor is there reporting or search capabilities on adjustments. <laughs> That's good. Only one party to the stock loan or repo can submit a manual adjustment at a time and there is not a validation or matching process, which means the parties often need to submit multiple adjustments between each other before reaching final agreements. So basically it's a freaking free for all. Do whatever you want, whenever you want. But instead, APO is going bye bye because we can see here, now they don't have a choice. It says all adjustments to these payments can be made by using DTC's Claim Connect. Now, Claim Connect is a non-manual, it's an automated settlement process for them to use, a lot more structured, and um, we should see, hopefully, some effect from this taking place on the 9th in the market. So, jack to the titties, we have 002 on Wednesday being implemented, which, you know, it, it was approved today, okay, yeah, I get it, but it's not technically in effect until Wednesday. So... I bet you anything tomorrow we see it on the Fed Register. However, this is good to go. We will not see this on the Fed Register because, again, 007's already been implemented. This is just some fine print that uh, kind of slid by, and now they're saying, okay, we're done. Effective July 9th, APO's going bye-bye. Probably we're giving everybody time to transition and learn the new system. So there you have it. Pretty important stuff here. Let's go.